제 100회 한국에 온지 1년이 다 됐다. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and this is our Get your hands ready. 100th episode already. I know. Mm-hmm. And today's main expression is 한국에 온지 1년이나 다 됐다. Actually, a pretty good expression to learn on our 100th episode because this is probably something you can say now, you know. It, it has already been one year since I have arrived in Korea. All right, let's say hello to our teacher, our good friend. Hello, Steve. And I've been much more than one year. 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. I'll be helping coach you guys through this expression and many others, along with a little bit of Korean culture. And we have two students for me to coach. Well, I'm really happy to be here in, uh, in this 100 episode. Uh -huh. And I would like to say thank you to Lisa and Stephen because you have been such a good teacher for us. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay. Right. And actually, Sami will be able to say this pretty soon. Something like this. Right. Really soon, and yes. also, you can also say you've been studying Korean for almost one year pretty yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah, Coming so. soon, right. We'll go over all, over all kinds of ways yes. to use this expression today. Mm -hmm. But first, let's do it. Let's do it. 한국에 온지 1년이 다 됐어. 나도 한국에 온지 6개월이 넘었어. So right before our break, uh, Stephen here said to Naomi, Oba Hajima. Uh, we should probably explain this because it's not something you're going to find in the Korean books. It, what, what he's actually saying is over, O-V-E-R, uh, over exaggerate or being overly sarcastic. Koreans have shortened this into Oba and they say Oba Hajima, don't be overly sarcastic or don't overdo it is what he meant. All right, so having said that, okay, let's go and to And that's first. a funny expression, yes, too, isn't it? Yes. something that we use idiomatically or mm -hmm. with friends. Uh, our first expression was, 한국에 온지 1년이나 다 됐다. It's already been a full year since I have come to Korea. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, it's... 한국에, mm -hmm. when you're coming or going to a place, you use the e. Uh, particle there, so mm -hmm. you've got 한국에 온지. Now, since coming to a place, 오다 is the verb to come, and you attach it to the 온 plus 지. Now, if it had a 받침, you would add 으 in between, it would, be, it would become, like, let's say you were using 먹다, 먹은지. Okay, you could say 먹은지, and then you would put a time in there, right? Right, for example, if we're eating strawberries, I could say it's been an hour, han shigan, mm. or if it's been six months since I've had pibimbap, yukkewa, right? Mm, oh, yes, if you're talking about a specific mm -hmm. food, right? Mogunji, han shigan desu, right? You could say chomshim, right? Chomshim, mogunji, han shigan desu, okay? And then in this case, we're talking about something else that you've done. It's coming to Korea, therefore, it's a long time period. Onji, ilnyan, E, you add the E as the subject marker. Yunyani, ta desu. All, it's all over. Yeah. And then here we're saying ta detta, which means it's completely, fully, it's come to an end or mm -hmm. altogether it has been. So instead of ta, we can use jum, like about or uh, approximately instead of ta as well. Okay, uh, let's try saying this, okay? Hangugye unji. Actually, tell me how long you've been in Korea using this uh, sentence. 어, 한국에 온지 1년 음, 좀? 1년쯤 됐어요. Or 좀 1년, 넘었어요? 1년 좀 넘었어요. Good. 한국에 온지 8개월이 됐어요. 8개월. 네. Almost a year. Or here you could actually say uh, 거의, which means 거의. almost, right? So not quite but almost. 거의. So 거의 1년이 됐어요. 음. Right, almost a year. And you may look at that, the verb is Dueda, or as in D, digut, O, E, right? But then when you conjugate it into the all yo form, it be, in the past tense, it becomes de plus otta, so it becomes de osayo. Good. And then the response we heard, it's pretty much the same format. Nado, me too. Hangugae onji, yukke ori nomosso. Okay, he said it's already been over or past. 
six months. So actually, Sammy can say that too. Why don't you say that? 한국에 온지 8개월이 넘었어요. Namaste. Good. And actually, we've got our veteran uh, foreigner in Korea. How many? 한국에 온지 얼마나 됐어요? 8년 됐어요. 8년 됐어요. 8년, 8년 다 됐어요. 다 됐어요. Yes, it's, it's, I'm over 8 years now, mm -hmm. coming up on 9. Man, pretty soon I have to say 9 years. <laughs> okay, and since we're talking about time here, let's cover some expressions that you should have down in your vocabulary. Okay, we want to use 몇, which means several or some, and add that to a 주, and it could be 몇 주 or 몇 개월, several months. Okay, do you want to try this? 몇 주. 몇 주. And then a couple of days. It could be a couple of days since you've done something. And then when we're counting, say, 한, 한 달, 두 달, 세 달, 네 달. We want to use this form in the counting. Mm -hmm. What else do we and have? We should point out, we should point out when you're saying, mm -hmm. she just said, that's mm -hmm. how many months. Mm -hmm. So is mm -hmm. is how many months too. Right. Dai is pure Korean. Mm -hmm. That actually means how many moons, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. And then that also means how many moons? It's the same thing. You just have to be careful to use the Sino Korean numbers with kwal, okay? And use the pure Korean numbers with tai. All right. And then you want to cover the kanji? One last mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, we're going to talk if you want to use this expression to talk about how long it's been since you've gone someplace or something like that. We're talking about how long it's been since you came to Korea. You could also say how long has it been since you went to your hometown mm. with this same expression. And then you would say 간지, okay? 고향에 간지 얼마나 됐어요, All right? Mm, 1년, 2년, 3년, almost 4년. I know, my mom's going to kill me. I love you, mom. I'll be there soon. Okay, well. I know. I love you, mom. Well, we're on our 100th episode. How can you say, let's be Korean? It has been 100 episodes since we started. 시작한지. How can you say that, Naomi? Uh, let's be Korean. 시작한지 100회가 100회였어요. Okay, let's go on to wrap it up. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 한국에 온지 10년이 다 됐어. 나도 한국에 온지 8년이 넘었어. 고향에 가본 지 5년이 넘었어. 나도 고향에 가본 지한 달이 넘었어. <웃음> There. Oh, yeah. Woo. A beautiful occasion. Yeah. Yeah. 100 episodes. Yes. Uh, 100 episodes. Are ready? Hopefully... Come help us. All right. Ready? Come here. Well, well, saying okay. in Juka. Okay. Whatever. All right. One, One two, three. three. Oh, All right, 100 hard working episodes. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Steve. You're Give welcome. Let's get the air clean here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, there are some uh, cultural things that go with 100 here in Korea that we might want to mention. Uh, we have the peg e J blank blank blank. For example, when a girl and a guy are dating, they usually celebrate. In America, it's, we have one month, two months, Go three by months, the six months. months. Yeah. Well, they do here too, but uh, usually the 100th is like very important. 100th day. The and then the 200th day. Yeah, and then the 300th day. They go so by the 100th days. We get 100 days, days. Yeah. And then another thing we have is once it, after a baby is born, after the one year day, we have something which is called a dol janchi. Okay, dol. We say egi dol. And then it means they have turned 100 days old. Or actually, it's one year and 100 days because they're already one year old when they're born. Mm -hmm. So that's when the parents gather all their family and friends together and they celebrate the baby. Uh, and then we do lots of activities there too, really fun stuff at the tour. Mm -hmm. And that's the big party. Mm -hmm. And it's a big deal because a long time ago, babies didn't live that much after their 100th day, right? Mm -hmm. So they actually didn't even name babies. Until, until that birthday, until That's that right. day, they would they would name the babies. You're really up on your Korean. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, thank you for joining us, and please come back next time for our 101st episode. Okay. See you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. And in the meantime, AreangTV.com.